Hey there, YouTube. I'm gonna show you something pretty cool. Look at that wind. I don't know if you can see them trees dancing and swinging. There we go. That's a better one. Ready? Yeah. Let's go get some amp shit readings here. Let's just watch this for a little while. Here, I'll put the volts in the picture too. There we go. If you can see them. Oh, sorry. Okay, uh... I might have smoked that coil out. Yeah, we've had, uh, look at that. A lot of wind today. Oh, and uh, thanks Tom T for this. That is awesome. And also, uh, I have to shout out to Larry from Leamy Electric, kind of helping me along with this, and Fearless Thinker. You guys are great. Helping me understand what's going on here. I haven't gotten my 1,000 uh, watt, 10 to 22 to 60 volt inverter yet. That is on the list. That'll go up there. Then the 500 watt, 10.8 to 30 volt inverter will go below it. And then I'll get my 24 volt uh, to 60 volt relay. <clears throat> and that'll go up there and I'll get that all squared away. And once I get that set up, I think I'll be good for a while. But yeah, anyway, thanks guys. I just wanted to thank you for all the help that you've given me. Dedicating your time to helping me get this set up just right. Um... I'll have another video up on it until I get my second inverter and all that stuff, but I had a really windy day today. I don't know if you can see the reflection of the wind turbine in my win window of my truck here. There we go. Now you can see them trees wisping. Way out there. But, yeah, Windy Nation, 750, a million pounds of copper in it. It's whirling good. The, these winds actually just started. They're between 10 and 25 miles an hour. Oh, oh yeah. If you hear that clicking sound, that's this little circuit here. Kind of just slapped it together real quick. It's there. Zing. Cell phone cameras are terrible for zoom autofocus. But there's my 10 watt, 10 ohm ceramic resistor. That LED isn't hooked up. That resistor isn't hooked up. They're from uh, they're from something else. And uh, I had this board laying around. There's my 10 volt Zener diodes. I'm only using two of them. I did order a bunch, but I don't want to burn them all up, so this is just like a a little test deal. Here's my... ignore that. That's old solder. Yeah, there's my... I've had this board a while, so it's been through its paces. I had an N555 timer soldered in there. I had a project I was doing, but anyway. So yeah, this is set to trip that little solenoid relay there. It's a little automotive style relay. It's only a 12 volt coil. So I know, you know, I guess this thing surges up to 25, 30 volts. It's going to cook that relay if it keeps it on too long because they're not really designed to hold that kind of... Oh, here we go. Look at that. Uh, there's a big gust now. Holy shit. And I know this is, 
it's hard to see that voltmeter down here. This one here, this is the voltmeter right here. And this one up here is amps, DC amps. 200 amp, 75 millivolt shunt and meter. Let's see. Yeah, see if this one had a shield over it, you'd be able to see it really well. But every now and then, you know, I notice this grid tie inverter does that. See, I got, you know, over 10 and a half, 10.8 volts going into it. And it was up to like 22 volts earlier, and it wasn't pumping any amps out. Solar is disconnected. I got the solar panels right over here. See, these are the wires that were coming off the solar panel right here. I got that disconnected for now because I'm bringing them in because we're supposed to get some pretty nasty storms here today. And, uh, yeah. Just wanted to give you a quick little view here of what we got going on. And I've got a dump load on here. <laughs> I don't know how long this dump load will last because it's, it's an AC induction motor. It's, uh, but it works. I mean, if winds get really bad, I'll be here all day with it. So if the winds get really, really bad, I'm going to put the brake on. But you can see even right now, it's... The winds are blown, but right now here, there's like nothing. And I don't know if you can see that wind turbine reflection in the window of the truck, but... It's windy. Yeah, see, look at light winds right here now. That wind turbine's spinning. I'll take four or five amps all day. And I wanted to show you guys the kilowatt hours I had generated with just the wind since I installed it. But unfortunately, I was out here and I was using the chop saw. And I popped the breaker, so it's reset. So 71 hours, 19 minutes, 520 watt hours. But we haven't had much wind. Today is the first day we've actually had steady winds. There's another big gust coming. The trees are dancing like crazy out there. So you look at that. I need 15, 20 mile an hour winds just to get this out of the other PMA I had up on the roof. And it was noisy. So I was always able to gauge the wind. This one's so quiet I can't even hear it turn. Sometimes I have to go outside and look just to make sure it's still spinning. But look at that. Easily hitting that. And this is 10.8 to 30 volts. There's 10 amps. 6. Okay, let's see what we can get here before it. There comes a big, big gust. There's 11, 12, 14. It's fluctuating. 16, 17, 15. So yeah, here we go again. 12, 13, 15, 17, oop, 26, 21. Wow, 21 amps, 22 amps almost. It was 21.7. Nice. Nice. I need 40 mile an hour winds to do that with the other one. These are under 30. Gusts probably hitting 30, but I'll take it. I don't care if this thing sits here and spins that slow and pumps only that many watts a day and, or an hour, whatever. That's way more than I was getting out of the other one in these winds. And it doesn't really stop spinning. There's always usually a light breeze here. And it just it just goes so well. Here, let's watch the amps now. We've got another big gust coming through. Trees across the way are dancing like crazy. Let's see if it comes this way. Here it comes. Yeah, look at that. See it for yourself. No trickery, 
I don't have a 50 millivolt shunt or whatever the next smallest one would be in there. This is 200 amps, 75 millivolt shunt, with the two, 0 to 200 amp, 75 millivolt meter. I want to get one more big, one more big gust here before I upload this. But again, thank you guys. I really appreciate, deeply appreciate all the help you're giving me. This switching circuit is really cool. Oh, here we go. Oh, maybe not. Just blowing shit around. I don't have my laptop out here to give you. I, I don't, it's boring giving you those readings anyway because they're 40, 50 seconds old. Soon enough I'll get the Davis. Soon enough. But I want to get the second inverter first. Once I sell a golf cart or two, then I'll be able to get the inverter and the Davis. I get all my boxes and conduits. And maybe a solar panel or two. Get them up on the roof. Okay, here comes another gust. A little gust. But they're long duration gusts. They're not like those little dinky uh, whisper gusts that blow through. So, oh yeah, just so you know, yeah, just, I'll show you. I don't know if I've showed you in here. That's all that's in that box. This was a power supply box for 24 volt cameras, AC cameras, but I decided to reclaim it. So it's just the meter, and that's power switch. Oh, here we go. Come on, 16. No sound out of that. And then it drops out. Then it comes right back. Oh, there we go. You see it right there. Look at that. You see it right there. I'm sure the Winmax turbines can do this plus as well. But I really like the. I really like the wind turbine PMAs that I can build my own brackets for because I, I like doing that stuff. I love working with steel. Oh, look at that. I'll, I'll take that all day long. <clears throat> Some people say, oh, you're only getting three, four amps. Yeah, only. When your PMA doesn't put out squat and it doesn't even start turning with those stupid sword blades. Oh, that, that aggravated me so much. But, you know, I'm not going to rag on anybody. Hey, that's your design. It doesn't work. You designed it, not me. I'm not the one selling it. I'm not making money off of it. I don't own it anymore, so I don't care. Okay. Okay, one more gust. Here we go. Let's see if this one gets here. figures. Alright, you know what? Let me show you the wind turbine, because I haven't showed you that in a while. Stand out here. And they're not spinning that fast. They look like they're whipping real fast on it. Now, there's five wind grabbers on there. Five of uh, the 35-inch wind grabbers and the Five blade hub, DIY mount. I wonder if I can get a shot of the mount because that's that took me a while to build. It only took me a while because I didn't know how I wanted to do it. Let's see here. I can zoom in on that little baby up there. 
no slip ring. I opted out for the slip ring. Oh, here's another gust. And the pole doesn't, now the pole is not guy wired. Okay, it only stands, I think, 12 feet tall out of the roof. I do plan to guy wire the pole. So I know those of you that are going, you gotta guy wire the pole. I said, I know I do, I will. I just haven't yet. Which I'm actually gonna take care of that probably, probably in a couple weeks. Here we go, there's a big gust. Yo, yeah, spin, you bastard. That's why the pole dances a little bit. It is bolted to the floor in the attic, and it is bolted to the uh, rafters. And it's not you bolted, it's actually bolted right through the rafter in two places. And these are old school rafter, these rafters. These aren't today's junk lumber rafters. They're actually inch and a half by seven and a half. These are actual two by eight rafters. Rough stock lumber. Tail fin's bouncing around a little bit too. That's all right. But that's a two inch pipe slips right over that inch and a half. So it's all schedule 40. Okay, let me back that back so you can kind of see what the wind is doing here. Through that tree. Now, don't forget this is dirty wind. Yes. Whoa, there's my weather station right there next to it. So you can see how close they are to each other. My rain gutter's bouncing around. We had a tent here blow over and it took out the rain gutter and smashed a car that was in the... Whoa, yeah. Nice and quiet. But it's not bouncing nearly as violently on the pole as it would as if it was the other guy. Other PMA. But, okay, I'm already up to 17 minutes here, so... Honk! I think we're gonna... end this video here, and... Enjoy! See you later, YouTubers!